Ultimate Fighting Championship champion Ronda Rousey recently said in an interview with Maxim Magazine that if you have to use lube during sex, then you're not doing it right. I'm joined in studio by sex and relationship columnist Dorothy Black. She's going to tell you why that piece of advice is not so great. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, so uh, why it's not so great is that many women uh, need to use lube. And mm. people who practice anal sex also need to use lube. Lube is great. More people should be using it. And there's nothing bad with using lube. No, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. I think we've made this, this association between like men get erections and women get wet and they're somehow the same thing. And they're not. Some women uh, lubricate naturally if they get aroused. Some don't. It depends maybe... Uh, your hormones are off, you're on medication, maybe you're in a different cycle in your life. There are a million reasons why your uh, vagina might not lube up like it should. <laughs> so we shouldn't really be taking this sex advice that Ronda Rousey no. is giving. No, and I think like people go, it's, you know, when people say stupid things, I say stupid things all the time, and it's not great, but she's not a, a sex educator. She was just speaking. She was just speaking in her opinion, and I think what's great about it is that it, it does open up a platform to go like, well, here's why it's wrong, and mm -hmm. let's talk about using lube. So we shouldn't feel bad. I think that's the, the most important yeah, thing. Yeah, I think a lot a of lot. women are freaking out. We yeah, should yeah. use lube a lot. Yeah. Now, how and when and why? If we don't currently use lube, yeah, what, what do we use it for? Well, you know, I think a lot of women don't know or don't think about using lube. Um, if you're experiencing pain from being too dry during penetration, you're going to want to use lube. If you're using condoms, you want to use lube because the material uh, degrades or it gets, uh, if it's dry, the dry friction yeah, breaks it's it down. It's like a chafing. Bit. Yeah. Um, so it's painful. Uh, if it's painful, use lube. If you're using condoms, use lube. If you're practicing anal sex, use lube. Lots of lube, more lube than you think you need. Uh, if you're using sex toys, use lube. If you're masturbating, use lube. If you're a woman, use lube. If you're a guy, use lube. There, that's just use lube. So just use All lube. The time. That's, that's it's amazing. I think people don't think about using lube, especially when they're masturbating, and yet it really just it really just heightens the sensation. It's really great. Now. When it comes to lube, I know mm. that there's different kinds of lubes. Right. There's water-based right. and, and silicone-based. Silicone right. yeah, yeah. What's the difference between the two of so them? So water-based, the, the main base is water, which means that uh, it is absorbed into your body quite quickly. It's, it's relatively cheap, it's relatively easily available, um, and so most people will use water-based lubes because of the price and because it's, mm. it's uh, usable in most people's bodies. Very few people have a reaction towards it. Uh, silicone-based lubes, uh, main base is silicon, and also it lasts a lot longer. So it's a little bit silkier, it doesn't get absorbed into the body, which means that you can go for hours and hours and hours and hours. So if you dry up quite quickly, if you're practicing anal sex, if you're ha having like hours long lovemaking sessions, then, <laughs> then silicone, uh, silicone lube is great, a little bit more expensive. Um, and you cannot use it with your silicone sex toys. There's some Why like not? chemical reaction and the silicone and silicone uh, breaks it down. So, so if you have a silicone sex toy, you should use water-based water yeah, water yeah. lube. Water based lube. Now what's interesting, before this interview, you actually brought up the fact that people use some alternatives to lube, oh, right. but, but they shouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah, so like oil-based stuff, some people will use Vaseline or they'll use butter. I know that you can use coconut oil, so like a good coconut oil can be used for lube. Some so you can use coconut oil? Yeah, coconut, I mean, oh. apparently you can use it. I would rather just go for something <laughs> that I've bought and that's in a little, uh, a little bottle. Um, but also, even when you are buying lubes, just make sure that you are just checking the ingredients list. So make sure that this, this flavored lube stuff isn't so great. Some of it's made with sugars or artificial mm. sugars. Not so great for, for the internal delicate flora mm -hmm. of your uh, lady bits. So rather just go for like straight up water blaze, no flavor. Um, those are really good to use. Now when it comes to KY jelly, there's, yeah. there's often controversy around KY jelly. Should we use it? Should we not? Yeah. What's the big deal? So the thing with KY is, I mean, a lot of us started on KY, I started on KY, and uh, it's, it's very handy. It's just that because it's meant for uh, medical purposes, for a quick in and a quick out of your gynecological instruments, um, <laughs> it dries up very quickly. So it's not really suitable for, for sex unless you're literally in and out within a few minutes. Now, some condoms come already lubricated. Right. Should we use more lube with those? Yeah, look, I mean, use lube, lube, lube. I think a lot of the, the condoms that come lubricated, I mean, most have got that little, you know, uh, wetness around it. Some have spermicide, which you may or may not react to. Um, so if it's not enough, just use lube. And just keep lube next to you on the bedside table, preferably with like a little flip cap. 
because everything else gets squirty. Just make sure it's not on the bed. Many things to consider. Rather the digital bottle next to the bed. Keep it handy so that you can use it whenever you need to. We've said lube a lot of times in so this interview. So much lube, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for coming again. Thanks, Jen.